those things to get later yeah. on. The other ones I did later. So that's how that's that's how easy it should be to peel the dang exactly. thing. Exactly. Okay. They are ready. It's nice to easy to peel. Mm -hmm. Is there a risk of when you get them? Yeah. They like they're not ripe yet, and you hold on to them, yeah. and then they just spoil before they go ripe. Yeah. Yeah. If they are not too ripe, they mm -hmm. sometimes they cut too uh, early. Yeah. So they are still hard, and they are already. It, they're they're going to be useless. Like yeah. they're completely useless. Yeah. Okay. You have to buy them when they are hard and yellow, yellow, yellow. Okay. They are hard already, you know? Mm -hmm. But then you let them ripe. And sometimes you need to wrap them in paper, newspaper. Okay. Do you not, like, do you keep them cool, dry place? Or, like, yeah, in the, well, not in dry, the fridge? Not cool. Okay. It has to be warm, dry place. Warm, dry place. Okay. Yeah. Uh, wrap in a newspaper, they ripen sooner. Okay. See, this is already a little bad. I'm gonna cut this part and all this. It's a bad. Sorry, we'll have enough. <laughs> yeah, we have enough. That's why I brought a lot because mm -hmm. they were ready at the time that time I brought them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we didn't have time to cook it. Mm -hmm. But they are still good. They are sweet. The more riper they get, the sweeter they get. That one's probably going to be over, like super done. <laughs> not much. I think it was wet by the other ones. It's not as smooshy. See, even the bottom cannot peel that easily. So. Hmm. Yeah, the top was more done than more overripe yeah. than the bottom ones. Yeah. Probably because of how it was stored. It was like in yeah. contact with some of the other ones. Yeah, and... in contact with the other ones. Yeah. Would you wrap them individually in newspaper? Or just like the whole, all of them no, together? No, I that they should be dry. Okay. Because... Uh, you see it, these have a bunch of wet... Like, no, yeah. you know what happened? I think that maybe when I brought in the car, this starts sweating in the car. Ah. Uh, well, then, also, when I pulled... I pulled these out of the refrigerator a while ago. Oh. So there may have been some condensation on them. Oh, yeah. Mm. That's yeah. another... Another thing. Okay, mm -hmm. now we are gonna... Is that pan too small? No, that's fine. Okay. You can just... This is the oil to yes. regular yeah. vegetable oil. Correct. And I'll show you the time you have to take it out. Okay. So just, just enough to like coat the bottom. Yeah. You don't want to float in no. oil. You know what? Let's move to a different burner. I was recording your stomach. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know why I was. That, that's off, so that's safe to put there. Yeah. yeah. There you go. I don't let touch that, but then also a uh, plastic or wooden spatula. Okay, I was using one. Yeah, it's on. I think it's yeah. on. It'll just take a while. Yeah. Is it on high? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's on high. 
has to be medium. Medium? Yeah. Not too hot. Yeah, the, the thing has to be hot, but then if it's too hot, they start getting cooked on the top and not in the middle. Mm. They start so turning medium, in the chips instead of... Yeah, <laughs> the, the oil has to be hot, but then the fire should be medium. Okay. Okay. Yeah, when it starts sizzling. So these are Cuban style? Yeah. <laughs> they cut, yeah. Because it's not the same when they cut it's long lengthwise like that. Sometimes they cut a banana in half, the plantain, and then they slice it like just like that, or sometimes the whole thing. But this style, because it's short enough and, and it browns all the way, you know. Mm. Well, thank you, John. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can already smell it. <laughs> I think I could post just this this video clip on the internet as like a five hour loop of plantains frying <laughs> and, and people would watch it for like concentration or homework study. Right. <laughs> Just the sound of frying plantains. Right. <laughs> Sizzling. Mm -hmm. problem with plantains is um, you can save it for the next day, the day after, but they get a little hard. Mm -hmm. They get a little hard. It has to be freshly made, you know? Yeah. Well, why would you want it? Why would there be any left? Yeah. You're just going to eat them all the day yeah. you make them. So. Right. You're looking for browning? Yeah. It's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and when they are, you know, golden, a little cooked like mm -hmm. that, they look nice. And also they turn a lighter yellow. Yeah. This is like orange light. Yeah. And then they turn lighter, you know, they are already turning some. It's, it's funny when... When we go to uh, this one, yes, yeah, like Salvadorian restaurant, when we yeah. get it, they they cook their plantains on uh, on the griddle, yeah, um, oh. with just like a little bit of oil on it, and, yeah, and it's fine, it's good, yeah. But I mean, I, that probably is all about the ripeness of the plantain when right, you get it, right? Because this, that's why I put paper so it absorbs the oil, you mm. know. Because you, you could do it with less, but yeah. you probably won't get as good browning. You won't get right. the... Right. It works and better you with You know, I didn't put that much. Mm -hmm. It looks more because they are sizzling. Yeah. But see how they are golden brown. So how did you learn to make these? Uh, 
I was married to a Cuban for 13 years. <laughs> so I had to learn. Because when I first married, I didn't know how to cook at all. Because when I grew up, I was not allowed to go in the kitchen in my home. As a matter of fact, I was the only daughter of my, the three, we had three girls in my house and my two younger boys. I, from all five, I was the only one that I got punished by my father. Well, he punished my, one of the boys, the older boys, which is younger than me. But from the girls, I was the only one punished with the belt in my behind for having gone into the kitchen. I was forbidden. We were forbidden. Because you know what? The cook, the cook in Bolivia has to start cooking at six o'clock in the morning to, to cook for lunch for the family. And because we have to have five course meal mm -hmm. at lunchtime. And in Bolivia, because of the altitude, it takes a long time to cook. Okay, because of the atmospheric pressure, it's not the same. There's not enough oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so it takes a long time to cook. So the cook is busy preparing five meals, five course meals. So if the children go, they, they bother and interrupt. As a matter of fact, that time I went, without her noticing, I, I touched some hot peppers and, of course, then I touch my eye and start burning and start screaming like mad crazy. And the woman didn't know what to do because she had to take care of the food or take care of me. And all my father came and with the belt really punished me. So I was, and we were forbidden to go, so I was punished twice. That's why I went being forbidden and why I did such stupid thing that after touching, you know, I... Uh, so I didn't know how to cook. These are getting done. You just hide the dark side on the on the yeah, paper towel. No one will notice. Okay. <laughs> These are not that bad. Well, they are breaking because they are. They're over. The 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 plantain's a little overripe. It's a little over soft. A little, a little. Yeah. Last, a week ago they were okay. Mm -hmm. These were a little overripe. It's pretty amazing that they stood that, that they sat in the fridge for a week right. and are still usable right. in any form. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. I mean, compare that to your standard banana, who's yeah. oh, who is yeah. absolutely perfect. Yeah. And then and you they, sat in a uh, for a week grew. in the fridge. Yeah. It's like, oh god, that would be horrible. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> See, when it's too hot, sometimes. It doesn't even give you time to. Oh, yeah, because, yeah, as it gets a little warm. Yeah. So that's why medium heat is perfect. Thank you for showing showing me how to make these. Oh, I wanted to do. I told me I'm gonna because I know Angie likes it, and you wanted to learn. So I said oh, I have to teach you. Uh, <laughs> it's simple, you know, but you just have to know how to cut it. But. Mm -hmm. And I made I made all the wrong choices last time when yeah. I made it. I chose too ripe of a plant too too uh, unripe of a plantain, cut it completely wrong, and then used way too much oil. Yeah. <laughs> I used, I, I made every decision wrong. Right. <laughs> well, you didn't know. Yep. So, but. So is this uh, is this something that's kind of traditionally in like in every meal or is it kind of like no, no just special it's occasions? Certain or? Meals. Okay. Certain meals. If you have, uh, for instance, uh, on Fridays that you're not supposed to eat meat, they do rice, fried egg, and fried bananas because it's protein and meatless protein. Mm -hmm. You know. But then also when you have like pork roast leg, you have black beans. 
ra white rice and plantains. That's the plate. Okay. Is it, it sounds like there's a pattern. Whenever you have a lot of beans on the plate, you also have plantains. Yeah. <laughs> they, they go well together. Yeah. Because they, like in Bolivia, we don't eat plantains. Ah. I mean, they, they eat in the, in the eastern part of Bolivia, which is part of the Amazon jungle. Because I am from the mountains, on the western part. Okay. I'm from the Andes Mountains. And the food is different in, uh, in both areas. <laughs> <laughs> Very different. See, these are coming better. These are Dora, golden like they should mm -hmm. be better. Oh, no, no. Oh, sure. Probably need another layer of uh, There's no food on paper. Yeah. It's all paper. <laughs> <laughs> and the cat has chosen her spot at the ta his spot at the table. Excellent. I think I'll, I think I think that's a fitting end to this. Cool. Thank you again. <laughs>